What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? How are you? My name is Jenna. This is 1111 with Jenna. And there's my alarm. Turn off all alarms, please. What's going on? I'm here. Seven days, seven nights, 14 times a week. Okay, if you're on it, then do it. Do it, Siri. Do me, baby. Sorry. My brain just goes to a song whenever I feel it. <clears throat> oh, I got tagged in a post. What's my tagged in a post? Seeing all the love and support that the beautiful digital community that Jenna Mamina has made through two years of her 11-11 reminds us that the immense warmth in her singing is a genuine testament to her character. Thank you, Blue Coast. Thank you, Cookie. Witness it for yourself on Don't Let Me Be Lonely Tonight on Deezer. Deezer? Deezer? Oh, hey, that's me. <clears throat> I have a lizard in my throat. Because why did frog happen? That's me. Deezer. I'm adding it to my profile. Matt Rawlings, B3. Andre Bush on guitar, Derek Jones on bass, John Mater on the drums. Smooth. I don't want to be lonely tonight. Check it out now on Blue Coast Records. Right about now. I got tagged in a post. 11-11. There you go. I celebrate each and every one of them. My brother period. Jump on sometime and enjoy the ride, period. Come on. Wait, I guess I better go to see who's here. Is anybody here? Am I even here? I don't even know if I'm here. It says I'm here, but you never really... Oh, whew, I'm here. Oh, there are comments. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mama Grace, Jeanette, Armando, Ortega, William D., Michael Keel, Thanks, guys. How fun. How fun was all of that? How fun was just like... If you haven't seen yesterday's show and you have uh, 13 hours to, to watch it, you might want to check it out. There was some amazing music, great friends and family and funny and a couple of, couple of really good jokes and then... I'd say at least one not as good. And I can say that because I'm the director and the producer and the creator and ladies and gentlemen, I'll stop there. What? What? Hi, Casey. My name is Armando Ortega. That. I'll do that. What's up? Ooh, there it is. There it is. Now you can see the flame. All right. Hey, every birthday has to have a song. So, estas son las mañanitas que cantaba el de David. Hoy por ser día de tu santo se las cantamos así. Despierta, mi bien despierta. Mira que ya amaneció. Y a los pajarillos cantan la luna ya se metió. Qué linda está la mañana en que vengo a saludarte. Venimos todos con gusto y placer a felicitarte. El día en que tú naciste, nacieron todas las flores. 
Y en la pila del bautismo cantaron los ríos, y ya viene amaneciendo, y a la luz del día nos dio. Levántate de mañana, mira que ya amaneció. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear G11 11 Happy birthday to you. You're a toddler. You're a toddler. <laughs> a it's so cute. 1111 11 with Jenna is a toddler. It's a toddler. It talks, it walks, it toddles, it does it all. It's it is not my birthday. No, it's not your birthday. It's the birth the birth date. Yesterday was the birthday of 1111 11 with Jenna. 2 years. Two years and oh, and before it melts, I have to show you. I have something ooh, special. Ooh. Something special. It's it's. Bring it, ice. Go. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. It's the Dutch apple pie, which we've done before yes. from Foxes and Cindy's, and then you know, of course, since it's a birthday, you have to have ice cream. So it is French vanilla ice cream from Tillamook. And in honor of Jenna's proclivities, there's a little sprinkle of sea salt on top of there the ice cream. There you go now. Sprinkle that go. sea salt on top of that ice cream. Just the way just the way you like it. Just the way you like it. Except you wouldn't able I know you'd be able to eat the pie, you just couldn't eat the crust. I would I would eat there's probably flour in the pie though, I bet. I don't think so. I think thicken it up, no? Okay. No, I don't think so. And I think the streusel on top is just I'm pretty sure it's just Brown sugar, cinnamon, and butter, a ton of butter, and uh, butter. And uh, well, let's find out, shall we? Let's find out. Dutch let's find out pie. just exactly what this is. First, we'll take a bite of pie. Good morning, by itself, everyone. Unadulterated. Good morning, Rob Morocco. Thank you very much. Good morning, Rich. Thank you so much. Good morning. Who else is here? Michael Keel, William D, Mama Grace. Yeah. Come I don't on. think there's any flour in that. I think it's just it's butter, zero. brown butter. sugar. Butter. Cinnamon and butter. butter, butter and sugar. Have you ever seen? And we talked about this before. That apple pie, that they call it the depression apple pie, and they make it with crackers. Yeah, the rich cracker apple pie. There's well, there's one with just regular saltines. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's, mm. it's saltines, and apparently it tastes just like apple pie. Okay, you're okay. You're totally right. The salt on top of the ice cream. Right. It makes it. Right. It's so good. Yeah. And so this apple pie, I was only going to take a couple of bites, but now the apple pie with ice cream, come on. Uh. And there's probably a little bit of salt in that pie. Got mm -hmm. it. Oh, yeah. There's salt in the crust. And there's a little bit of salt in the filling. But no, I don't think there's any flour in the pie itself. I think it's just the crust, which also has butter, much butter. Okay. I was only going to take like two bites of this, but I think I have to eat all of it now. A couple of times. I like that. Butter, 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 butter. Butter, 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 butter. It's like the way I, I offer coffee. Anybody want coffee? Coffee, coffee, anybody? Coffee, coffee, anybody? Coffee, anybody like coffee? How about some Are coffee? really that fast? Yep, it is all that fast. Oh, mm. okay. So, how are you feeling this morning after the big night and day? Mm. It was, it, the day, the night, and the morning. We waited for you. We were there till I think like one. 30 or something i must have just missed you when did it end when did i turn i finally i think julie julie and patty and i dimmed all the lights sweet darling about 140 am i correct or was it 12 40 rich knows rich was there rich what time did you turn off when, what time did you say good night anyway after work it was about 10 40 i was walking out of the restaurant and oh, i looked yeah. for you yeah, that's that 140 40. Your time. So I thought, yeah, I just missed you then. Yeah, maybe. I maybe we were twelve forty. I was starting to see. You were you started to see like, well, it's just elephants. The, it's the lights, you know, one forty. We were done at one forty. So oh, had so I missed you jumped on. Hold on one second. Eleven eleven with Jenna. How can I help you? <laughs> it's the eleven eleven line. What? I'm on my love stream. May I call you back in a little bit? Okay. Bye-bye, Mr. New Orleans. 
That's that was Mr. New Orleans calling you? That's Mr. New Orleans. That's awesome. Yeah. Not everybody who gets a it call from Mr. New Orleans. 10, so definitely after 1 a.m. Grace said 1.40. So had you called, it probably would have taken it to another level. Minutes before. I, I was, I think... If I remember, I looked at my I looked at my my phone. And I was like, "It's ten forty three. I bet they're still on." And I looked, and it said, "It said Jenna Mamina was live." And I said, "No, baby, Jenna Mamina is live. You just Jenna don't know Mamina it." Was live. Then I then I did yoga for about forty five minutes because my body was sitting in this chair. Oh God, I'm sure. And then Lillian and I went for a walk, and then I ate some. What did I eat? Something. When did you sleep? You didn't sleep at all then. You haven't slept. Well, I went to sleep about 3.30. You know, it's it's a gig. You do the gig and... Right, and then you have the, 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 the penumbra. The, you work on the gig for three. You get the big gig. Then you work on the promotion and getting the band together and getting the people to come and organizing the people that are going to play and da 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 And you do the gig and then you get the standing ovation and then you go home and go, okay, do I do, I do a bunch of... Do I eat peanut butter filled pretzels? Do I clean the bathroom? Or, you know, some people continue it with whatever high of their choice. Well, after the gig, I, yeah, for, for me, it's always some kind of food after a show. Yeah. You either go out for food or you come home and make yourself a beautiful sandwich or scrambled eggs. Scrambled, scrambled eggs, eggs are wonderful eggs. at any scrambled time of the day or night. I think I, I had a, what did I have, mom? Oh, I had um some peas and a little piece oh. of toast. See, yeah. you are so healthy. No, I'm not. Mm -hmm. it's because I don't have any ice cream in my refrigerator freezer. Because if I did, I would just eat it. Well, here and I am I sitting eat, here. You no, know, I eat my ice cream with a fork. I know I'm eating mine with a fork too because I have the pie sitting here. I bought a, I brought a spoon and then I thought that was a bit foppish, you know. Have a spoon and a fork for dessert. I mean, come on, that's a little much. I, oh, mother, I'm ready for my dessert. Mother, I'm ready for pie and ice cream. Mother. I want my pie and ice cream. Bring it now. Bring it to me now. I must have my pie and ice cream. That's a good one to, to um, master. Oh, yeah, we used to. One of the ones that I do, actually, I was doing it yesterday. I was driving in the car because I drove all over the place yesterday. You probably know this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's hard. That's hard. It's. So you can work on the on the lips. It's slow down, the slow down, slow down. the 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 it's T H. So the 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 the. That's the last three. The the the. So it's backwards. The the the. The the the. The 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 do you ever do them with your tongue out? Mm, let me see. Yeah. Oh, that one. Uh, yeah. And then, I don't know if you know the one in Spanish. I only know one in Spanish. I'm sure there's many in Spanish. But the one that I always use is R con R guitarra. R con R barril. Que rápido corren los carros por los rieles del ferrocarril. And that's one that Carlos taught me years and years ago. My brother Carlos, who is a Spanish, a, a retired Spanish teacher, that looks and like a Carlos move. teacher of history, and then um, what one? Oh, like rubber you know, baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers. Remember that one? Yeah, and then there's also yeah. This one was. I don't care about that one, Jenna. Yeah, but then there's this one, Jenna. Oh, I love that one. That one is my favorite. Wait, rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers. <laughs> yeah. Jenna, that is the best one. Yeah, that is the most amazing one ever. Yeah. Do you know this series though? Yeah. One red hen, two black ducks, three running, three brown bears, four running hares, yeah. five fat corpulent porpoises, six Sicilian sailors sitting on a stump. No, six simple Simon sitting, six simple Simon sitting on a stump, seven Sicilian sailors sailing the seven seas, eight egotistical, egotist, egotistically echoing, egotistical ecstasies, nine nude nuns nibbling, 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 nuts, nose, and nut, nut, wait. Nine nude nuns nibbling, 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 nuts. Nuts? What is it? Nuts? Oh my God! I remember um, nuts, nuts, and nicotine. No, no, there's a, there's a sort of nuts, nuts, noses, and nicotine, something like that. Uh, and then nuts, noses, and nicotine. Nuts, 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 something, and nicotine. Why can't I remember that? 
And then of course the last one is 10. I slit the sheet, the sheet I slid upon the slitted sheet I sit. I didn't you know that one, right? A whole thing, like a partridge in the pear tree. Yeah, I <clears throat> that was one that I used to use and I would, would uh, do kids classes, you know, um, kids acting classes. But so. I was always very hesitant to do the last one because, you know, it, it promotes the kids saying shit immediately. Right. So teachers were not into that very much. And I realized that early on, fortunately. And then what? Oh, and of course, there's, there's the STS one. He thrusts his fists against the posts and still insists he sees the ghosts. That's a hard one for me because of my yeah, S. Yeah. Because I have a, a lazy S. You have a lazy, you have a little bit of a lisp as a kid. I, I do have a little bit of a lisp. If I get late, if I get really tired. It's not my, even a lisp. It's, no, it's, it's, I get the it's lazy, a, I get, I, I get the, a lazy S sometimes. It's, it's a syllabant is, is but they, what, what voice teachers will call it is a syllabant S because it's, it. it's, it, it's not the tip of the tongue behind the teeth where it's supposed to be like, it, mine, you, mine's like, back further. Yeah, mine's back further too. And, and it's the going to the middle of the tongue, which is weird. Yeah, the tongue. Right. It's, it's, it's this, it's which the like, the teeth, it's right behind on the roof of the mouth. And I remember my voice teacher told me, just touch it. So I, for a long time, I was like really foppish about it. Armando, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. yes, how can I help you? But why are people saying important? Oh God, I don't know. Important. Or, or perfect, hey, that's perfect. What, were you there yesterday? When, what? No. What? No. You're talking to me? No, you're talking yes. to you're talking to You weren't there during the perfect conversation? No, I wasn't there during the perfect. What the f? I was only Perfect. Perfect. Oh, we had a whole thing about perfect yesterday. What what? Uh, people Why not... is everyone saying perfect now? Oh, I don't know. I have no idea, but everybody says it. You're right. Everybody's perfect. saying before it was 100% or wait, no worries. No worries. Yeah, no worries. No worries. 100%. Now, perfect. Okay, so do you have, did you check the box? Perfect. Mm -hmm. perfect. What is this about? I've, I've, I've found myself saying it too. Hey, are I you on coffee? I've said a couple times, like in the last couple of weeks, per, and I said it yesterday once, but this, but it's a longer one. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And all these 22 year olds have become, um, uh, health no. coaches and herbalists about they know everything about every mushroom and i'm like okay perfect chaga mushrooms perfect. are perfect priminy you need criminy mushrooms right R really i can't oh. believe you said that and are they criminy mushrooms or are they criminy criminy do they say criminy i say criminy so i'm wrong is it no i don't know what it is Oh, I don't know. I've, I've heard criminy and I've heard crimini and it's- and who, knows it's what, who knows how to pronounce? Yes. Who knows how to pronounce the mushroom? Oh, and I have a customer. Okay. At Fox's, we have this yeah. green chili tomatillo chicken pozole, which is oh. awesome. It's delicious. And it has a dollop of sour cream and a little sprig of cilantro as a garnish. It's gorgeous and it's really tasty. It's oh. not super spicy, but it's really, really very tasty. And uh, for those of you in the audience who don't oh, know pozole- yes. Pozole is a Mexican stew, but in New Mexico, where I'm from, it's generally made with red chile and pork and you know, garlic and oregano. This is more of a, this is a green, a green pozole. So it's made with green chile, roasted chicken and tomatillo. So it's tangy and tasty and it's lovely. And when I first saw it, I was like, chicken pozole, come on. And when I tasted it, I was like, oh, okay, this is wonderful. So people love it. It's something that we've always had. Chicken pozole. It's a staple. Yeah, because not everybody eats pork. Um, but there is a guy who orders it all the time. And there was a couple of times when we've been crowded and it's busy. And he says, uh, I'd like a bowl of the pozole. I'm like, <laughs> finally, one day I was like, I'm sorry, we don't have that. He's like, you don't have the pozole? And I said, cassoulet? No, we don't have no, ca we have no cassoulet. He said, no, 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 no. Kind of a jerk, but. No, know. I didn't. I, I literally did not hear what he said. Armando. I literally, I so did not hear Honestly, he was so loud in the room. You didn't know that he was saying pozole. Okay, maybe, maybe. Uh -huh. been a tiny bit of jerk. Me, wait, me? A tad me, pedantic, me perhaps? A little pedantic, okay. A little pedantic, a little semantically correct. 
And finally, I said, I'm so sorry, I didn't hear you. I thought, I thought you were saying cassoulet because it's pozole. Excuse me? Pozole. The, 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 and then I was like, the accent is on the second syllable. It's like, oh, pozole. Like, yes. Okay, I'll have the pozole. Great. You want a bowl or a cup? Yeah. And so then the next day he came in, he said, so you the waiting. bowl of the pozole. I was like, oh, come on, get it together. <laughs> and one of, one of my coworkers, we were talking, you know, you always talk about people who are interesting. We're talking about somebody who's like, oh, is he the guy who asks for pozole all the time? I'm like, no, different guy. <laughs> Different guy. I was talking about a different guy. Telling you, Rich. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So funny. So strange. Perfect. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you know what? I, you know what makes me crazy too? And it's been around forever. And I, I try to avoid it as much as possible. Awesome. Awesome. I say awesome. I, I, I'm probably too old to say awesome. It, no, it's not. It's not even an age thing. It's like. Awesome. Okay. Is the fact that I have a nice cup of hot tea awesome? No, it's nice. It's wonderful. Babies are awesome. Okay. A sunset is awesome. Niagara Falls. Awesome. I'll give you that. Okay. Right. You know, but the fact that your brakes got fixed for $200, oh. necessarily awesome. Good. You know, beneficial. You want good brakes. Awesome. Eh, I don't know. A little it's extreme. Pushing it. It's pushing it. You're pushing it. You're pushing it with that. I mean, you know, it's like now, okay. Is the fact that Jenna, 11 on with Jenna, has been on for two years continuously, 14 shows a week? That is awesome. Awesome. That is like awesome to the max. To the max, dude. To the max, bro. Oh, I. Are you showing the Jerry Lewis thing where he does that thing and that he does the music? He's in the kitchen dancing, the Predators. God, the I haven't seen that forever. It's so say... fun. Did what I... is that? What? That's from, it's from a movie, right? Is that from what's what's the? I don't even know. If that's we're we're creating a whole new. Oh no, it's him saying something else. The announcer test, Jerry Lewis, the announcer test. Oh, I don't know it. Do you I don't know, know it? I, I love the Nutty Professor when Jerry Lewis turns into Buddy Love. Oh yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. That is some amazing acting. You watch that and you're like, okay, now I get why the French are so into him. Now, now, now I think now I know why he's brilliant. <clears throat> um, see, I had a question for you, and I can't remember what it was what I was going to ask you. Uh, oh, yeah. So, how was how was the West Coast swing? Did you have a good time in Seattle? I didn't, I didn't see you after you. It was because I was doing the thing. It was. It was good. Incredible. Mm -hmm. You recorded there, right? No, I went to see my dear, dear, dear friend Naomi. Right. Okay. Yes. 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 And I saw my friend Valerie. And I went for beautiful walks and Yeah, see I was great for that. And then uh and then I went to Portland and didn't you did you hear the story about Lillian and I in, in the airport in Portland? Mm -mm. Oh well everyone else has, so I'll tell you really quick. Okay. So there's a place called it's like a you know, a, in the food court, there's a this place where it's they're famous for their bowls. And I thought, well, I have Lillian, I have my suitcase, I'll get a bowl. Mm -hmm. And went up and there were a lot of people and usually when I say my name they always say it wrong and I can't hear that it's me because they're calling Gina, 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 party one, Gina, Gina, Gina. Are you sure they're not saying Pozole? They might be saying Pozole. So I said Lillian and and the guy goes Lillian and I said yes and then all of a sudden and you know I'm masked and I have on my shield you know I'm in the airport with my glasses and my shield and I hear someone go is that Lillian Pearl? And I thought, she's made it the big to the big time. She's she's an Instagram star. She's famous. It was Katie's nephew. Had never <laughs> met Lillian, but had seen her online, and recognized her standing there. And she got her first star shot out at the at the Portland airport. But you had met him before. Oh, I had met him. I hadn't seen him in ten years. He oh, goes, geez. So funny. He goes, I always thought Lillian was so much bigger, and I think of you as really tall, and you're not, are you? Oh, no, I'm not tall. <laughs> There's nothing about me that's tall. And when he said that, did you say, perfect? Perfect. What is that about? Who's I don't know. I have no idea how that got started. Sebastian Monoscalco or someone to do a whole thing about it. 
Now, okay. Oh, I love Sebastian Maniscalco. There, I have a regular customer who looks yeah. and sounds like him. Perfect. He's cute. He, yeah, very cute. He's, he's probably in his mid 40s. He has two little girls you and do? he's lovely with them. He brings them in. He's like, okay, girls, what are we going to have for breakfast? What do you want? Oh, you want scrambled eggs? Scrambled eggs are delicious. Scrambled oh. eggs are good for any time of the day. He always says a little, little bit about what they're having. Pancakes? Hey, they're cakes. You get them for breakfast, though. Cakes, cakes. All right. So he's lovely. He's I, I really like this name. I can't remember what his name is. His name is Patrick. I can't remember his name, is but he he's very... I asked him if he was a stand-up comedian, comedian, and I said, you remind me of this comedian named Sebastian Maniscalco. He said, I've never heard of him. I was like, no, you should look him up. And so he said, the I person did... that can do a, a stand, stand on by himself. I mean, I know he has other people around him mm -hmm. on the stage four nights in a row sold out at Madison Square Garden. That's incredible. Not the small part of Madison Square Garden, the whole Madison Square Garden sold out. I saw him in a casino with about. 1800 people wow <clears throat> i would go see him again i think he is just so funny i've only seen <clears throat> the stuff that he's done on, done on tv his specials i would love to see him live though i bet he's he'd be really fun have you ever seen <clears throat> when the doorbell rings mm -hmm. no i haven't seen that one Has i'll check it out <clears throat> rich thinks that nutty professor is his favorite jerry lewis movie i think nutty professor is one of the best and I like when he and Dean Martin were doing stuff. Yeah, those were fun too. Those are really fun movies. Um, the professor is funny. I think I've told you my favorite laugh out loud funny movie though. Mystery Men. Do you know Mystery Men? No. Mystery Men was made, I believe, in the early 2000s. And it's about a universe where superheroes are real but they don't really have superpowers. It's like Craig, Greg Kinnear plays, you know, the major superhero for I like him. Champion City. The name, the name of the city is Champion City. And he's Captain Amazing, I think is, is the name. But his suit has a jetpack, and he has to have, he has to have sponsorship. So he has like, you know, Pepsi symbols on his suit, and Pennzoil. And uh, his manager is Ricky Jay. You know who Ricky Jay is? He's that that magician who was also kind of a fast talking actor guy. Yeah, so that's his manager. And then there's this group of wannabe superheroes. It's uh, Ben Stiller, um, William. Uh, oh God, he's in uh, uh, Shameless. William H Macy. William H Macy. Uh, um, ding, 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 ding. The uh, God, I, they, 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 he's an actor from from. Uh, the Simpsons, whose name I cannot remember right now. Um, and they're wannabe superheroes. <laughs> William H. Macy is the shoveler because he shovels really well. And- uh, yeah, um, I don't know this movie, what's it called? Mystery Man. Ben Stiller is Mr. Furious and his superpower is that he just gets really, really angry. <laughs> he gets very mad. And uh, um, God, I can't remember that actor's name, but he plays a character by the name of the Blue Rajah. And he dresses up in a big turban, but it's green. <laughs> green turban and a cape. And he throws cutlery at people, but he only throws forks. He doesn't throw knives. And Louise Lasser from Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman plays his mom. It's one of, I think it's one of her last roles. And she plays his mom. And then they have to get more superheroes because they, act, I won't tell you the whole story, but they have to you are, rescue though. Captain Amazing. Story. But they, they have the, this, uh, this audition moment for new superheroes. And it's a bunch of stand-up comedians playing different superheroes, you know, doing like 30 seconds as their superhero because they have a pool party. It's, it's, I love it. I love that movie. It's so fun. and so silly. Uh, Mystery Men. Mystery Men. Tom Waits is in it. Have you ever met him? Have you ever met Tom Waits? Many times. Is he a nice person? Very nice. He comes across as a very, like he'd be a very interesting and very sort of self-effacing person. I would think. He doesn't talk very much. Really? I, I, I got think... mad at him once, though. I have to say. I was I was not happy with him or his family. I was positioned to be in first class if, you know, three more people didn't show up. I was going to be myself, and then two other people were going to get bumped up to first class. 
Mm -hmm. And at the last second, Tom, his wife, and two kids with their skateboards wiped out the whole first class. Freaking Tom. I know. I was bummed. I can imagine. Well, I thought he, I thought he, I, I can't, can't imagine that he did something overtly to make you mad. No. I had a, I have a couple friends that, well, I have a dear friend that played with him for a long time. Ralph Carney, great mm. horn player, played with him. When you hear that, that bassoon playing with them and the bass clarinet, that's Ralph. Oh, wow. But he is not on the planet anymore. But yeah, I do. Yeah, Tom made me wait. It's cute. Very funny. Nice. Nice one, Rich. Better than your joke last night, Rich. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh oh, bad joke from Rich. Bad because it wasn't funny, or bad because it was off color. Yes. Both. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> okay. To get to the trifecta, it has to be bad because it wasn't funny, because it was off color, and because it was in a language I don't understand. The trifecta of bad jokes. And then it was in Serbian, and my Serbian customers, my Serbian. Hey, I'm allowed, Rich. The Serbian audience hated it. Oh my God, the Serbians were so pissed. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Anyway. Anyway. Rich. It wasn't on rich, color, rich, I rich. respectfully disagree. It was on the edge. It was on your edge, William. It was way over the edge on other people, including myself. Oh, it probably was not on my edge at all then, because <laughs> I love off-color jokes. But I think you have to be judicious. Put it this way. No, never mind. I won't go any further. Okay. It's my opinion. But I do have my ice roller ready. Do you have an ice roller? I love my ice roller. I don't. Roller. I should have one of those. Oh, you should. You Although I have been that. actually attempting to sleep more rather than four to five hours a night. Oh, my neck. Oh, noise. Maybe I should get one of those. That sounds kind of amazing. It's like wallpaper. No. That favorite. sounds awesome. Mm -hmm. Making well, sure let's that, see. You know. I got my, I got my TheraBands, my, my closed loop TheraBands in the mail or from Amazon yesterday. TheraBands are awesome. I know. I have to use them for my, uh, they're perfect. Perfect. You could put them on and then, yeah. I have to use them for my, my physical therapy, which I will do stretches I'm after this keep saying dr oz say goodbye to dr oz did he leave the did, did he did, did he leave the planet or something i have no idea i'm not i'm, I'm not i haven't been following dr oz stuff. i always get you know chaga mushroom advertisements and but did, didn't I doctor... you, did i tell you what happened to me the other day not to me personally i i, no. I got a phone call from dr oz it was a 510 oakland number okay and did i answer it no, I didn't answer it because I knew it probably was a robo. Then the second one, it happened like half an, hour, half an hour later and I decided to answer it. And of course it was my warranty is almost, you know, my 22 year old car warranty is almost out of whatever. Would you better update it? <laughs> Come on. So I decided to call the numbers because they were 510 numbers. And I thought, oh, screw it. I'm going to call it. The first one was a woman from Alta Bates, hosp doctor, hospital place, medical facility. And I said, I said, did you call me? She said, no, this is blah, 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 blah. You know, like the office of, of the president kind of thing. And I go, well, just so you know, they're using your number for a robocall. So they're just taking your number, my number, anybody's number and using them for their robocall. They're not even, I don't know how they do it. I don't even know who they are, mm. but it's really not cool. Well, yeah, I mean, I think there is some kind of software where you can disguise your number with any other number. And I don't know how, I don't know how the selection process works or anything. But yeah, it's messed up. That's messed up. That's crazy. Is it Taka? Am I saying it correctly? Taka Uno? Uno? Taka Uno? Incredible ceramicist, you guys. Check him out. Instagram. Taka. Taka, can you put your Instagram? List it? Me? No, not. Do you have an Instagram? Uh, I do, but I can't remember what my Instagram handle is. 
Are we friends on Instagram? Is that what you are on Instagram? Are you friends? I don't know. Are you Insta buddies? Insta Insta pals? pals? (laughs) Let's be Insta pals. I like that. I like being Insta pals. Are like knocking on your door. What was that about yesterday? People kept getting door. The people were ringing the doorbells and. Where in people who were on your show? Oh yeah, knocking on the door, ringing the doorbell. It was as if that would be fun. Okay, during the show. Oh, there you go. Thank you. For what it's worth, I did wait for the twelve-year-old to leave. Well, now I know. Cashew appearance is only going forward. I'm telling you, it's about it, it's it's cashew is just cashew's a ringer. I would take cashew to my job interview. I'd have oh Lillian on one arm and cashew on the other arm, and they'd say. Do you, are, are you sure you can do this job? Uh, you would be, about? You'd be hired for anything immediately. They'd say, it's perfect. perfect. Two dogs, very cute, perfect. right? Honestly, Armando, it's, it's, it's as if it's hit, you know, it's sort of the sir, put a pin in it, but we'll circle back and pivot. But perfect mm. has gone to a whole other level because anyone can say perfect. Not anyone can really say pivot. I mean, you can. But in your job, but not, you but hardly anybody, not everybody would use it. Back. Right. But yeah. anybody can use the word perfect. And my goodness gracious. I'll be is. willing to bet you money that at some fast casual store, there are t-shirts that say perfect. I bet you can find them online. I think I might make them. Oh, 11, you could. 11, perfect. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do you have extra large t-shirts yet? Do you? Do you? Do you? Huh? Oh, Do you? And we need, well, Rob, Rob Morocco, can we talk t-shirts today? Rob Morocco. See, and you don't want the one that has your face on it, but I like it with your face on it. I want one with Lillian's face on it. Okay. Why can't you have both? Why isn't I it possible? I don't want to wear it. I don't want to wear oh, it. I, see. Okay. I wear the t-shirt because it's really comfortable and the colors are cool, but I don't really want to wear a photo of myself because... They go, is that you? Because like right now, it doesn't really look like me because I don't they, have blue no. eyeshadow on and shimmer all over my. It's, it's that, such that, a cool. If they, say, if they say, is that you? Say no. It's my cousin. Armando. No, yeah, it's I my love cousin Armando it. dressed I, up like I, me. I want to. I want to continue it, but I'd like to have an alternate. That I. I. Um, Michael Peltz now has is a uh, owner of a shirt as is Miles and Mm -hmm. Well, they they were mediums. I I respectfully, oh wow. I respectfully request that I get an extra large. Oh, Blanche was here yesterday, right. Maybe Blanche is the one that started. No, Blanche doesn't say perfect. No, she doesn't, why would she? She doesn't need to. Yeah, I was gonna say she already knows that she is. She already knows that she is. What happened yesterday? Why would she? Her sister Bianca pulled her pulled her down the stairs. Are you serious? Is she are, is she okay? I haven't seen her. I haven't talked to her. I didn't. Uh, her. I bet she's mad. I bet she's pissed. You know Bianca. B- Bianca gets like Bianca's yeah. like Jason Bourne. Yeah, she's insubordinate. She's she's out of control. Yeah, but she's do, she does it in a very stealth manner. Oh, I know. Yeah, total poker face. That Bianca. Yeah. Awful. Amazing. Bianca saw Blanche wore this thing on her head. This kind of she likes to wear tiaras and stuff, but it was this beaded thing. And it's Bianca's. Ooh, so Bianca was mad. Bianca was jealous that she that that Blanche took it. <coughs> wow. That's rough. That's hey that bad. that those sibling arguments, those are not great. <coughs> Did you have sibling you don't have sibling arguments? I can't see that in your family. So oh, no, of course we did. Really? Come on, of course we did. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Bob and I used to have arguments about ridiculous stuff. About, you know, movies or television shows. Carlos and Danny used to have, Carlos and Danny used to have <clears throat> knock down drag out arguments about, like, trivia. About, like, that was the 76 Monte Carlo that passed us. No, that was the 77 Monte Carlo because it had the square headlights. No, it's the round headlights. <laughs> yeah, just like ridiculousness. <coughs> Excuse me. None of you um, were, none, were any of you in sports? Yeah, Bob played soccer up until senior year. 
of high school. Um, I played soccer up until junior year of high school. No, not really anybody else. Let me see. No football, basketball players. Carlos played football for a hot second. I think he played, you know, June, uh, what is it, C-team football, and then wasn't interested. I mean, but then all the, Carlos, Bob, and Dan played tennis. They used to go out and play tennis. And Rick, Rick is a pool shark. <laughs> Rick is really, yeah. Was Lisa, or was. Lisa, she doesn't have to play anymore. If she still played, she would be. She's a shark. Yeah, I mean, I don't think Rick plays that much anymore, but he's, he's really good. And uh, let me see. Art didn't really play sports. Art was, <coughs> excuse me. I swallowed wrong. Artist not really was not really encouraged to play sports because he had a, a heart condition. And back in the fifties and forties and fifties, when he was was growing up, the idea wasn't exercise and make your body stronger so that your heart works better. It was like, don't do anything, right. don't leave the house. So that was that was rough. Ouch! Uh, to shift positions for my knees. There we go. What a sweet man your brother was. Yes. Very, very sweet and very smart. Yeah. And, Wicked. You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. And very funny. Extremely yeah. funny. And very private. Interestingly, very private about himself. I mean, he was very like, he would hold forth. He knew, knew a lot of stuff, but he really didn't know, unless you probed, he didn't really know a lot about him. You know? I mean, I knew a lot about him because I was his brother, but um, wow. Yeah, I miss him a lot. And your brother as well. Nino was extremely sweet. I Nino know. was like, he was like a, a beat, he was a beating heart. He was so sweet. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I regret the fact that, you know, as we got old, as we got older, you and I really didn't see each other that much. I mean, we saw each other very occasionally. We saw each other once here when you were in your 20s and then in New Mexico when you were in your teens for a while. But from the 20s until now, we didn't really see each other very much. And, and it's unfortunate because we well, missed we're a lot of connected time. now. We're we're super super connected. I know, and that's so, great. You know, that's and you and me and Grace and Lisa and you know it's 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 an it's an everyday connection that I feel. I know, same here. I do too. I feel it. I feel it every day, and I and I love the fact that we're all connected like this. Now you're going to be back out here. You said in June, April, April. Oh, soon. When in April? Thirteenth. Okay. 21st. It's I'm going to be there and then I'm not. I'm going to be there and then I leave and then I'm going to be there and then I leave and I'm going to be there and I'm going to leave. <clears throat> and then I'll be there for a minute again. Because I yeah, we, also have my gig in New York and my gigs in New Orleans. That's great. Yeah, the, the Jazz Fest gigs and what's and then the New York is Lincoln Center, right? Mm -hmm. That is so cool. I have to tell all your, your New York friends. I, want, I will tell the New York peeps. Joined out. I want to be like, First time at Jazz Lincoln Center and she sells out. Really? Yeah. Really? We should have her back every year. Yeah. Every six months, Jenna Mamina should have a residency. Yeah. Let's put that out there. Yeah. I like it. I like the sound of it. Maybe I said it. I'm doing my nails. Are you doing your nails? Do you know about your nails? Just No, what is that? Rest your palms together and then. Good. That feels good. Yeah. Oh, oh you know what I've been you know what I've been doing what? is that toe stretch thing that you showed me. Oh. <laughs> sitting on them? So good. When you sit on your toes? No, no, no. When you put your fingers in between oh, your toes and, and rotate them. Yeah. The, so the, before that. you do that, sit on them. Meaning oh, like knees on the ground, pad your knees if you need to, and then just sit on your toes. And you're gonna mm. go what the Jenna? No. And then the next day you'll do it and go, this is horrible. Why are you doing this? Do that for about a week and you'll notice the difference. But so you do that and then you do this. I'll be back in a second. My son just called me from his bedroom on the telephone. Oh, I'll let you go. It's We no, should no, no. go. Do you need to go? Well, I'll go in five minutes. Go. Come back. Okay. Let me go check and see what's going on. See what the deal is. Anyway, yeah. Sit on your toes. Hurt, hurt. Oh my gosh. It's like drinking coffee though. On both and then I tell you if I did all the things that I say that I do but I do these things I do do but there are some things that I forget to do and I go I would be in my house all day oops I am <laughs> therefore I do but I do do this quite a bit 
Plus, I like it. And then, you know. I know. I think it's I think it's coming down to being on the show with just my mom. Who are the other two people are, thank you very much. I don't know who you are, but I appreciate it very much. And tonight, ooh, Taco, if you come on tonight, maybe you could, yes. Hello. Hello. So he, uh, he had a butt time. He had a, he had, it was a mistake. Oh, did you poke the bear? I poked the bear. <laughs> He's like, what? I said, you called me. He said, no. I said, yeah, you just called me. <sighs> he picked up his phone. Oh, yeah, Perfect. sorry. Perfect. Perfect. So this is, what does this do? It's, it's basically, it's creating energy. Mm -hmm. like, you do it for five minutes. You'll feel, and then you can put it on your knees, you dig? Oh, okay. They also say it's for hair growth. Oh. I know well, you I don't need that... any hair growth. But... I don't really need any hair growth. Yeah, not really at all. But it's just a way to create energy. Cool. Awesome. Perfect. Awesome. But feel it. See, so feel it? Yeah, I do, actually. Creating, creating chi. Okay, I didn't know that. I never didn't know that at all. I've seen people do it, and I just thought, that person's very nervous. What's going on? Yeah, right. That's this little OCD action going on. Yeah. I know a, a pianist that wears rubber bands. I wear rubber bands because it reminds reminds me of things, but they sit there and they do this with the rubber bands. Just to keep their fingers sharp and moving? That makes sense. And someone said... Can you do that? You can do this, right? With all yeah. four fingers? Yeah. Someone I have a little bit of a twinge in this thumb. So I saw I feel on the it. internet, I saw it on the internet that there's some sort of genetic, what's the word? Genetic, not predisposition, but maybe predisposition that many people can't do the third finger. The third finger? Mm-hmm. Oh, for me. do something for me. Okay. Okay. Can you stand? Can you stand by that wall? Mm -hmm. Now I don't know if this is true or not. And I I should have tried it before. I'm asking you to do it, but. But can you jump off that balcony and? Right. Can you stand up there on that wrought iron? No, I'm just kidding. Okay. So Here, there's a want... is the wall. Let's see. Can you get my whole body now? You have it? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Stand by the wall. Put put your hands against the wall. Hands against okay. the wall. Okay. And now remove your hands and scratch your elbow. Wait, so I'm, I'm standing straight up. Stand straight up. Put your hands flat up against the wall. And okay. then then remove your hands and scratch your elbows and then put them back. So, yeah. Did they touch the wall again? Yes. All the way? Yeah. Wait, let me try it again. Hold on. Nothing. What? No, okay, just do one arm. Put your arm against the wall. My arm against the wall. I mean your hand, put your hand against the wall. Flat like okay. this against the wall, and then uh, remove it like, and scratch your elbow. Like like this sideways. Watch me. Pretend like this is a wall right in front of me. Okay. I'm put my hand right here like this. Then I'm gonna bend my elbow and scratch my elbow. Okay. And then I'm gonna put it back. Yeah. You touch the wall both times. Yes. I've never seen anybody do that before. Really. Why so? I don't know. You stand up against the wall, put your hand flat against the wall, then you remove it, then you scratch your elbow, and then you go back and it, it does something. Huh. It's true. I don't know. I've seen it. I'm a strange one. Yeah, you are. Or a bit different. Let's say that. All right, kids. I'm going to run. Time to go. Uh, well, only because I got to. I gotta take Lily now. It's really sunny out and beautiful. Ooh, 
Yeah, it's sunny here too. It's been hot here, actually. What's it been like there? Has it been cold? No. Not yesterday. Well, I don't know what yesterday was. Yesterday was this. For yesterday was was you in a chair. Fourteen hours. Something like yes. that. What was it? Eleven to twelve. Twelve to one. One to two. Two to three. Three to four. Four to five. Five to six. Six to seven. Seven to eight. Eight to nine. Nine to ten. Ten to eleven. Eleven to twelve. Twelve to one. Yeah, fourteen hours. Fourteen. Yeah. Almost fifteen hours. You count hours, you count time the way I do too. I have to do, I do it that way too, where it's like, go to bed, yeah. That's I can't I do. go, oh yeah, it was for, for, for 15, about 15 hours. I, well, I can do like, you know, okay, so we're gonna go from nine to three, so then I can go 10, 11, 12, one, two, three. Okay, six hours, I can do that. <laughs> but yeah, I can't just go, oh, that's six hours. Yeah, I, I'm too dumb for that. Mitch, is, Mitch and Nino are like that. Well, all, Mitch, Nino, and Lisa, super math people. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I mean, I have some math, but you know, I have I numbers. Have. I know numbers. Like I, I can, if I see a number, I can add that number up quickly, but I can't do it in my, I can't see them in my head. I can, I can sometimes do it in my head, but like if it's larger numbers, I can do it on a piece of paper, you know? And sometimes I do that instead of using a calculator. I know that keeps you more mentally sharp to like okay. add columns of numbers or divide. I like paper and pen. Are you a paper and pen person? Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. I like paper and pen a I lot. I have jars of pens. So do I. We have tons of pens and pens and pencils. Good. Just cause. Cause you never know. You, you never know when, when, jars when the big of, I, have, I have, what do you call it? Sharpies, all different colors, Sharpies. Oh yeah. Glue sticks, multiple colors of glue sticks. Don't have glue sticks. Don't have glitter sticks. But then again, I'm not as, I'm not as well, but you have glue sticks because it's part of your art. Right. It's part of what you do. It's part of what I do. I will let you go, my dear. It's always such a pleasure so cool to, to see you and be Are with you. Are you working this evening? Yes. Yes, I am. Last Friday was our busiest day ever for dinner. Wow. Out of control. It was a little nutty, but it was good. It was very good. And then Perfect. One of our former assistants has come back to town. He was gone for part of the pandemic, helping to take care of his brother's family because his brother, his sister-in-law got COVID and they needed help. So he went to D he went to Washington state and helped them. Now he's back and he's training to be a waiter. And he was, he, he was always sort of online to be a waiter anyway. He's a very courtly, cool guy. And uh, so he started training last night. So I think he, he'll be my backup on Friday's night, on Friday night. So he'll come in at six and be like, um, yeah, which is good because last Friday was, was fine, but crazy. <laughs> so well, I'm looking fun. forward to that. Well, I hope tonight is equally as fun and crazy and manageable. I hope so too. I hope it's perfect. Perfect. <gasps> <laughs> no, I hope it's awesome. I hope it's going to be awesome. I hope it's awesome. Have an awesome. I hope, I hope there's some, some important people there. Important, and you could have some chaga mushrooms in because it's just yeah, it's per yeah, it's some chaga mushrooms. Have a great rest of your day, my dear. I love you. Are you gonna sing a song for me? Oh right, maybe I should sure. go with G. To go with G. Yeah, there's your letter G. I picked. G is my letter. Letter. G is great. G is grand. G is gratitude in my hands. G is grace, who's my aunt? She's the one who gave us you. We are so grateful to you. G is great, G is grand. G is gratitude in my hand. G is grace that shapes our lives and makes us better as we strive to be as great and to be as grand, to be as grateful as we can, to show our gratitude in our hands and in our lives, and in our voice, and in our vision. G is grace, 
that makes us whole. G is the grace that makes the world go. If we only realize in the palm of our hand, we have the power for that grace to stand and grow and grow like all things do. It makes it better for me and you because G is gratitude for you. I think that's all I got. That was a good one. I love you. I love you too. Peace, love. See you next week. Everybody. See you next week. See you tonight. Perfect.